for the most part, solving logarithmic equations are it's not that bad. If you have in this example the same base, that means that you would just set the expressions inside the logs equal to each other. So in order for these two logs to be equal, the expressions inside have to be equal. It's all part of that thing that the logarithms are one-to-one -one functions. So that means from here we can just say that 5x plus 2 equals 7x minus 26. And then we solve this, right? Uh, we can go ahead and subtract 5x on both sides. This is a nice linear equation. Probably forgot how nice things could be, right? And we might as well go ahead and add the 26 to the other side, like this, plus 26. So we get 28 is equal to 2x, which means that x is just equal to 14. You've got to be careful about these logarithmic equations. Just because you get an answer doesn't mean that it works out. You have to be able to plug this back in up here and avoid any kind of issues. Because remember with logarithms, you can't have an input value that's going to make this guy negative. So if I plug in 14, 5 times 14 is 70, plus 2 is 72. If I plug in 14 here, 7 times 14 is 98 minus 26 is 72. So you'd be taking the log of a positive number. And that's okay. Remember that the domain for a logarithm is going to be positives, right? It has to be something that's greater than zero. So this guy is the answer. And that's it. Let's take a look at the next guy, something we've seen before. Log base 6 of 4x plus 9 equals 2. So whenever you have variables inside of logarithms, for the most part, you end up flying the plane, right? You take 6 raised to the power, because that's the answer to the log, and it's supposed to equal what's on the inside. So we rewrite this as 6 squared, and that equals 4x plus 9. Remember that 6 squared, not 6 times 2. So when you work this out, We've got 36 is equal to 4x plus 9. And then we just solve this linear equation. So we subtract 9 on both sides. We get 27 is equal to 4x. And then we finish this by dividing both sides by 4. So x is 27 over 4. And it really doesn't take too much at all to see that if you plug this in up here, you don't have any issues, any problems with the domain, and it is going to give you a true statement. But they're not always that easy. So let's see what happens in the next video. See if you can spot the differences.